Well, all packed up. Season's over, so time to get out of town. I know you're excited for the vlog to continue, but before we get into that, I wanted to say a few words about our friends over at Surfshark. They're a virtual private network or VPN provider that helps you secure your digital life. Setup is fast and it's super easy to use. With features and security that go well beyond those other basic VPNs, Surfshark secures your data with top tier encryption and provides elite level protection from criminals and anyone else who might want your data. It's playoff baseball time and I'm hoping to watch some of my friends match up across the league, but as you know, those pesky blackout restrictions might prevent that. Using Surfshark, you can avoid these blackouts and watch every game your team plays on their way to the World Series. And don't worry, if your team is out of the playoffs already, Surfshark's got you covered there too. Access restricted Netflix titles not available in your country with their VPN. I'll be getting access to one of my favorites, The Last Dance, as I relax this offseason. If all of this sounds good to you, make sure you check out the link in the description and use promo code MOMENTUM to get 83% off your VPN from Surfshark today. And don't worry, if you don't like it, they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's virtually no risk. Get started on Surfshark today. And now, back to the vlog. Well, all packed up. Season's over, so time to get out of town. Got uh, to get an Uber, got a flight in like two, two hours and 20 minutes. Headed from Atlanta to Phoenix. Start my off season routine. And go check out some property in, in Arizona, throw a bullpen on Saturday, get my biomechanics done and see where we go from there. Hey, Shogo. Hey. <laughs> Just landed in Phoenix. Saw a crazy Padres game in the air. Dodgers also won and just found out that Trump has the Rona, which is an interesting uh, development. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am here in Phoenix, Arizona with Buster, and we are off to check out uh, some property and get some food, and I don't know, meet up with some friends probably at some point. They drive right down there, and that there's a the fence line you see there? Yeah. That, there's a gate, it opens up, they drive their plane on in, and then they go. And then when they come back, they just open that little gate. They must have their little push button. They come up here and they just hide in there. That's a fueling station right there. And this is this is the runway or like the driveway, right? For they the call this the taxi for the planes, right? So right. this is non-drivable. Non-drivable. You're not supposed to take a vehicle out here. Right. Uh, these people uh, here, these aren't real no Porsches. We're the people that are potentially buying the building, so we're just taking a look. Can you tell us? Yeah. Because the first time I was here, I didn't really quite understand exactly what you guys do. These are replica Porsches, right? A lot of the parts that Porsche used when they originally built the cars were Volkswagen parts. So we build it, we start from an old VW chassis, you can see the rusted. What's fairly. the What's the market for these? Just collectors? A lot of guys that either they have one, but because they're so valuable, they don't want to take them out, so they buy another one uh, that they can drive around. Yeah, uh, because I mean, some of these a restored original is you know three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand, and these Interesting. these you know you can get a base model one for thirty five. At that point, right? Uh, I mean, really? Yeah. Okay. Do we have menus or what do we do? Yeah, we go to the QR card. Hello. What's up? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good year, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Cubs are in trouble. And it's a glorious thing. I hate he's done. I don't think he throws a four seamers. Yeah. 
Tigers are considering Hinch and Cora for the manager position. What? Did you just see that on the cross? Gosh dang it. Good luck. He's got a front head to Tater. Oh, no. Tater. The fish. The freaking bottom feeders. Yeah, it's tough, guys. Tough. You love to see it for the cops, honestly. Well, we are off to dinner. The Padres just won on a bullpen day. The bullpen pitched a shutout. Crazy, crazy. Um, they eliminated the Cardinals, which means all seven of the central teams that made the playoffs got eliminated in the first round. So I was wrong. I was wrong. I guess the central division wasn't that good. Seven teams made it more so than any other region, but no one won. So we're off to dinner. Going to have some fun hanging out with, uh, with the guys and catching up on some stuff. So got to get a good steak because I'm hungry. Thank you for you. Thank you. Should we have this? Yes, please. Good morning. Good morning. I'm off to throw my biomechanics bullpen. But first, we have to extend our stay because I was planning on flying out tonight, but now that's no longer happening. So I'm flying out tomorrow to head back to the East Coast to have some meetings and meet up with some friends before I go out to the West Coast. Go throw a biomechanics bullpen. That'll be my last exit throwing for this season before I shut down for this massive amount of time, probably like two weeks. Hello. Hello. Two? Two? What's the name? Trevor? Trevor? Okay. And then our menu is on the QRC code right there. It's digital. And then... Hey, so none of my guys are over there. I didn't tell anybody. I told one guy from Slammers in Denver to bring his backup catcher in case he killed mine. <laughs> and he's out there with about 10 guys. All right. So well, I, I didn't let the word out to one of my guys that he brings all of those guys. That's fine. I said, hey, if Trevor kicks we'll it out survive. Here, thank God, it was sure fun to watch him this year. Man, he got shut down. So um, the, the really... All right, Bob, what cameras are these? What are we working with here? Uh, we got Sony. Yeah, so those are the Sony FF35s. They are shooting 240 frames a second in 2K. In 2K, yes. wow. All right, so we got three of these. Yeah, four, one, two, oh, we got four. four. Yeah, we're gonna digitize three of them. And okay. One of them is just a backup. And then we have so this here side. mound and cube. And so they know the exact dimensions of this cube and they can say, okay, from this point to this point to this point to that point, and they know in three dimensions. So you put cameras in different angles and I throw pitches off the mound and then they go through manually on a computer program and they're able to digitize each body segment and create a 3D model of my delivery and then they can tell how much shoulder hip separation I have, what my joint angles are, and compare me to myself from spring training and last year. And I've been doing this ever since 2011. So I have a long history twice a year of what my delivery looks like. And then I can compare that to my health data for that year from my MRIs and my usage data, how many innings I threw and what kind of pitches I threw and all that different stuff. So I have a long history of uh, health data. That's how one of the ways I try to stay healthy. So. They're gonna set the cameras up. I'm gonna do some weighted balls and then throw like 10 pitches off the mound and then that's what we got today. Ah! Yep. Okay, so biomechanics analysis done. Got to meet some kids who are out here for a tournament. Take some pictures, that's always fun to do. Sign a couple things. Productive day. Uh, Biokinetics 3D is the company that I go to for my biomechanics. Uh, they're, they do a great job, so always good checking in with them. Got to hang out with some kids, got to see some friends, and nice relaxing day. So I'm going to get some sleep, and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Alright, well, we've packed up our room. 
Buster and I are on the way to the airport. Buster is headed back to Los Angeles. I'm headed off to the East Coast for about a week, see some friends, do some business. Assuming that my plane travels correctly, I don't know how reliable domestic travel is right now with COVID, but we surely will find out. So that's what we're off to. Thank you. Are you Trevor Bauer? I am. Oh my God. Buster had a science experiment going on over here. He's got some Epsom salts in his bag and uh, apparently they had to test the Epsom salts to make sure it wasn't a bomb. So we got chemicals out here. We got a pallet. We got all sorts of fun stuff. <laughs> He's rushing to make his plane. Just so mad the entire time. Love you. Love you too. Have a good flight. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. So Will do. Gotta run. Good luck. As I've said, I'm headed to Boston. I've seen some people in the, in the mentions trying to petition to have me come to the Red Sox. Kind of crazy, I wanted to recap what just happened. I showed up to the airport, or I landed at the airport in Boston. While I was on the plane, I tweeted out the picture of my plane ticket to Boston. So the crazy people of Boston uh, saw that. Apparently there's loose lips inside the American Airlines fraternity of pilots. And some pilot told some people in Boston what flight I was on. There's a pilot on American. Yeah. And he was able to confirm that you were on this one. So we had, <laughs> we drove down here and and uh, so you guys called you guys called the pilot of America. That's so he's all, all right. he's your big big fan. So people drove like an hour. A couple kids drove an hour to come see me and get a picture with me. And then their dad, or maybe it was their dad, maybe it wasn't their dad. I really don't know. Could have just been using two kids to get his interview with me. He started interviewing me. Now I'm also a sports writer. Okay. So you mind if I have two uh, two seconds with you? I got like two minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, so why are you here? Everybody's wondering why you're here. Why are you here? Who's going to win it all? Your game that you started, a 13 innings, 0-0, zero, zero, I think it was 13 or 14. Yep. How, how devastating was that loss for you guys, just just going scoreless in, in uh, your game, that, in, in your start? So I hop off a plane in Boston at 10 p.m. on a Sunday night and I'm getting interviewed, getting asked questions about how devastating it was to lose in the playoffs. I'm like, bro, I already answered those questions. Like, uh, Boston media, looking for clickbait, looking for the story, the scoop, willing to do whatever it takes to get the story. I put them on the, put them on the vlog though, so everyone can see what that's like. But that was really odd, and then I was trying to figure out how to get to a rental car place. And there's like two other people down there that recognize me and wanted pictures. And I've just been getting, re getting recognized all day long during travel. So I guess I have the vlog to blame for that. What's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for joining in for the vlog this year. We will be concluding the season vlog with this episode. Um, so hopefully you guys got some insight and enjoyed the ride. I know I did, I enjoyed bringing you guys along with me. Um, the vlog will continue. I'm not and it will just be under a different name. It'll be right here on Momentum Channel, so don't you worry, you should see that in the next week or two. But as the COVID season is now over, a vlog titled Inside the COVID Season seems like it should be over as well. So once again, just wanted to give you a very heartfelt thank you for joining the vlog and following along right here. And look for my off-season routine, free agency, free time, stuff like that inside the life of Trevor Bauer. Not sure what it's gonna be called yet, but it'll be coming up right here on Momentum Channels very soon. Thank you guys, see you soon.